Hey guys, and welcome back to No Bland Makeup, where we do makeup and body paint tutorials, usually with a cosplay twist. And today, I'm doing another Sailor Moon look thing because I really like the palette, and I also wanted to use the other colors in the palette to show you guys how they look. So this look is more like, I feel like Queen Serenity vibes as opposed to Sailor Moon, but I don't know. You let me know what you think in the comments down below. So I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes. Um, this, I feel like, helps more with the more glittery shades um, of this palette. It's got a few of them. And just using a primer of any kind will kind of give it something to stick to a little bit better so that we don't have as much fallout. The other perk of using a primer is you're gonna get more um, vibrancy in your colors. It's gonna last a little bit longer without creasing. And I took a not really road trip to the other side of Florida, which was basically just us sitting in a car for like three hours. Just cuz. <laughs> so, um, next thing we're gonna do is take the color Twilight Flash, and I'm gonna put that in. No, I didn't. I took Moon Castle. I'm a liar. <laughs> we're gonna take Moon Castle and put that in the crease. Um, this color is pretty light. I had to build it up a little bit, but you know what, for like light, floofy kind of makeup looks, this is actually really good. It would look really nice too as like a lid color. The only thing is there weren't a lot of dark shades in this palette, so we kind of just went with it. And I like the final look, so I can't complain too much. But I took that on a fluffy-ish, it's not that fluffy. <laughs> a fluffy-ish blending brush and blended that into the crease, bringing it all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Remember, if you have more hooded eyes, you definitely want to look straight into a mirror so you can kind of see where your eyeshadow is going and how much of it you're actually going to be able to see when your eye is open and you're looking at someone. Next thing I did was I took Silver Millennium and I put this on the lid. For this color, I kind of had to like scratch some out of it like out of the pan, if that makes any sense. Um, Cause it's kind of the same consistency as the Super Shock shadows, where it's almost like a putty. But once you get that color on your brush, it's really easy to blend out and you get really nice color payoff. If you want, um, you can also use your finger. I just don't like doing that. It's not as precise, but if you want to get that color really like booming in your face, I would definitely do something like that. Um, and then I took a little bit more of Moon Castle and blended that a little bit into the Silver Millennium and then vice versa so that way I don't have kind of like a stark line between the colors. I want it to look a little more blended, a little more regal, if you will. And then I took Love, which is another color from this palette that I didn't think I was going to actually like as much as I did. <laughs> That and Tuxedo Rose are probably my two favorite colors, and just this isn't so bad, the yellow one. But I took this color, Love, and I put it on the lower lash line as kind of like my pop-up color. Um, if you want to do any look that's kind of like soft, nothing too crazy, but you still want some color to it, adding a little bit of liner or eyeshadow to your lower lash line is definitely a good way of doing that without getting too crazy into the colors. Um, I know some people have jobs where like you can't wear super crazy colors. I've had one of those jobs before. <laughs> Receptionist. <laughs> it was not fun. But you can still add a little bit of color without it being too overpowering. Um, and then I took a little bit of Shining Moon and put that on the inner corner. <laughs> Why did I say that like that? I don't know. Um, and then what I did was I popped on some lashes. If you guys want a full tutorial on how to do that, I do have it linked in the cards up above. I skipped on the eyeliner this time just because I didn't want to do anything. I didn't feel like this look needed it, especially since I was doing some lashes. I kept it a little more on the natural side, a little bit softer, and like I said, I was kind of inadvertently channeling Queen Serenity for this one. <laughs> then I applied some mascara, particularly heavily on my lower lash line because the lashes that I decided to put on are a little bit more dramatic at the base and they kind of like feather out. So I really wanted my lower lashes to kind of be able to hold their own on this one. Um, what I would suggest if you're getting any kind of clumping when you're applying your mascara, get a clean spoolie, wait until your mascara is dry, 
and then kind of brush through it and then if you need to do a second layer after it's dried just to kind of like add a little bit you can um, but definitely wait till it's dry otherwise your lashes are gonna get more clumpy and it's gonna be sad and then in the spirit of the last video I did which is also in the card somewhere I applied the other glitter that's in here I forgot what it was called it's away somewhere but I applied that also as glitter freckles because why not I will have to say the other one the like bluey purpley one is more of my favorite I feel like it showed a little showed up a little bit more um, and it kind of worked better as glitter freckles than this particular color I don't know I feel like this color works better as like a highlight if you want to use um, like straight up glitter as your highlight color but if you want um, something a little more like freckly probably not the best but but yeah that, that's my rant for the day <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I definitely had fun doing it I love this palette like seriously probably a little too much but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below also let me know what you would like to see next probably putting up another body paint after this i think i'm gonna alternate them <laughs> but if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next and yeah also let me know who your favorite sailor moon character is Bye.